I want to talk to you about how to stay top of mind using Facebook and Instagram. These are a few simple and easy to implement tools that will enable you to build better relationships with people you come across online and this will then increase your chances of getting projects with these people in the future. If you've ever watched any of our videos about getting more clients, if you've watched our free workshop or downloaded our free guide and read that, then you will know that we like people to get more followers online and then convert them into clients in the future. Well, this is the best way to stay top of mind to those people that you've got on your Facebook, on your Instagram pages, stay top of mind with them. So when it comes to them needing a drummer, then they're thinking of you first. So building better relationships online enables you to get two things, that's more projects out of these people and also get people talking about you and referring you to their friends and people they know. So here's a question for you now. How good do you feel when someone likes all your posts all the time? How does it make you feel when someone comments on a YouTube video or on a video you've uploaded to Instagram giving you some nice positive or constructive feedback that helps you get better or makes you feel good? Well, I don't know about you, but if I have that group of people that always like all of my posts, to me, they're valuable and I'm happy that I have them, you know, as followers on my Instagram profile. You really do value these people that support you online and that makes you have a sense of gratitude and a sense that you want to give something back to them. And that's what this is all about. The main thing, though, is to not expect anything back from these people. All you need to do is give value and build better relationships with people and be open to receiving back from them in the future. If you don't value people, if you don't build people up and if you don't stay in touch with followers, then they're simply just going to get bored of having you and unfollow you. People seem to enjoy going on these big unfollow sprees so they can boost their ratio between their followers and people they follow. And if people don't value you as a follower, then they're simply just going to unfollow you. When you spend all this hard work trying to get people to follow you and to message people and to cold outreach people and sort of build these relationships, the last thing you want to do is to let them slip away by not keeping in touch and not making them feel valued. What I like to do at the beginning and end of every working day is to spend 10 or 15 minutes going down Facebook and Instagram and engaging with posts that I see. This means liking people's posts, it means commenting on people's posts, it means giving them constructive feedback and basically paying compliments to them. These are fake compliments to make yourself appear nice. These are genuine compliments from actually watching the video or the content and something constructive that will enable them to get better. What I also like to do, which I would also recommend, is to every week go down your YouTube subscribers and watch all their videos, at least one per profile or one per person that you subscribe to and give some kind of feedback to them, like the video, um, give them some positive feedback or some constructive criticism and add some value there. This does two main things and the most important thing it does is it makes people feel good, it makes them feel like they're doing well and that people are actually taking notice of them. This will boost their confidence and they'll be happy to have you on their platform and it makes them feel like, you know, a sense of gratitude, like they want to owe you and they want to give you something back, which means they're more likely to engage with your posts and give you some nice comments on some feedback, which then improves your social media game. If you're commenting on people's YouTube videos all the time and on Instagram posts and liking posts, then this also puts your name out there 10 times more meaning that people are more likely to actually discover you and find you online as well. With a combination of staying in touch and engaging with people's posts and your name being everywhere on social media, then this is really going to improve the amount of engagement on your own social media pages, which means that people will know of you much more, you'll be reaching a bigger audience and you'll be staying top of mind in a lot of people's heads. So when it comes to people needing a drummer, then you're always at the top of their mind. Another really important lever to pull as an online session drummer would be to make use of Facebook and Instagram stories. When I look on my own social media, I see a lot of drummers doing this already, which is great. However, there are more people that could be using this tool. But right at the top of your newsfeed, the first thing that we see when we go onto each platform. So if you are posting good, engaging content on there, then that's going to be a great way to get some engagement out of people and to stay top of mind. You don't just have to post about what you're doing because we're not always busy. You could post engaging questions, 
could post polls just to see what people are listening to. Um, if you're a drummer, you could you know ask a question about what cover to do next. I'd highly recommend utilizing Facebook and Instagram stories at least once a day. So you're always putting your name and your profile at the top of the page. You find that a lot of people do like clicking on stories and scrolling through every single one um, to see what's going on. So if you can put your profile at the top for everyone to scroll through every day, then that's going to be great for keeping your name, your brand and your session drumming business top of mind for people. Really basically summed up, this video is about helping each other out building each other up online, you know, making everyone feel good about themselves. We're all in this together and we're all just as capable as one another of making it big. There's plenty of clients out there for everyone. Don't feel like everybody's against you and that you're in competition with everyone because there's plenty of work out there. Do your best to build other drummers up, build everyone up, like posts, give people nice comments, give people constructive feedback. Don't be a dick to people online. This is all about working together and building each other up. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to check out our free guide, then the download link is right below in the description. Once again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you very soon.